Mukeng Shai District brought a wide range of one commune, one product or oka products to the festival, including honey, pulung shantu tea, sangku rice, and several products made from sun chair. Beyond introducing local staples, the festival also offered an opportunity for producers to exchange experience. I want to engage in festivals like this, so that I can introduce my products and learn from other cooperatives. Joining the Sun Chai Festival, ethnic minority groups in Mukeng Chai and Mung La indulged in Thai Sue dance and Mung Khen dance. They also participated in traditional games and prepared traditional dishes. We were all set for the Bande Pounding Festival in the early morning. We want to introduce our Suntra flowers and the Hmong tradition of Bande Pounding to visitors. Mukang Chai and Mungla districts are home to more than 10,000 hectares of Sun Chai. The trees have provided stable incomes for local people over the years. Every spring, when Sun Chai is in full bloom, the two districts attract many visitors coming to admire the picturesque blankets of white flowers. This festival is interesting. It gives us an opportunity to gain a deeper insight into the ethnic minority group's cultures. The Sun Chai Festival brought a new experience to visitors this year helping them gain a better understanding of Mung La and Mukeng Chai, two districts that boast a great deal of tourism resources.